going to explain about the GP screen and the endurance screen. Both of them are the same except for this box here. In the endurance screen it will have a time here rather than the GP screen it has a number of laps uh, completed and the number of laps of the race. So starting over here uh, the screen shows that the current leader is Raikkonen. Best lap of 5.021 seconds by Raikkonen again. Here I've just explained that one and here we have the weather. So the weather at the moment it's raining. Auto track call is shown here. This light here shows that somebody's in the pits. This is uh, ID number three. That means that Lewis Hamilton, the ID number three here, Lewis Hamilton is in the pits at this moment in time. This row here shows the position of each driver in the race at this moment in time. Number one uh, position is Raikkonen at the moment on zero laps obviously Maldonado at two laps down Vittel at two laps down Button at three laps down these will move as the race continues always showing the person in first place at the start here onto the driver dashboards. The driver dashboards don't move, they stay where they are. It makes it easier to actually see uh, what's going on during a race. The number of laps the driver's completed is in this uh, left hand top corner here. So three laps for Alon Alonso. Number of pits that they've done. If you look here, Button has done one pit penalties here so at the moment Alonso has a stop and go penalty given to him you can see that by this red button here normally it would be green if there's no stop and go so he's had one penalty the time here is the time for the last lap this is the ID number of the car so one two three four five six name of the driver so we have Alonso here the position he's in in the race so he's in fifth as you can see from here as well we have the accelerometer here uh, which during the race will go up and down as the controller's throttle is pressed these LCDs here show uh, the fuel gauge and the amount of fuel at the moment so Alonso has probably 50% fuel which is exactly what it says just there 50% of his fuel remaining this is the car Ferrari this here is the uh, throttle profile that the driver is using at the moment you can see that each driver is on a different is using a different throttle profile the linear there damage points three damage points here for uh, Alonso so he's got three left shows a green LED next to it uh, Maldonado has only one damage point so he's had a couple of crashes here's his LED is showing yellow here we have the type of tire that the driver is driving on all the cars are on rain tires at the moment because it's raining and here it shows how much of the tyre is remaining, so 100%. These LEDs here will go out as the tyres wear. Along the bottom here, uh, the stop race button and uh, a um, box here that tells you what's happening in the race. And here we have the track temperature track temperature at the moment is 14 it's in blue uh, that means there's less tire wear if this uh, box turns red that means there is a lot of tire wear due to the track temperature being so high just stop that race and reset 
and you can see that we have the start race button here reset race button here and the weather forecast so at the start of the race you can check the weather so for this next race it's going to be sunny sunny and cloudy click OK if I go to start the race now have a new uh, pop-up comes here asks uh, just reminds you that not all the cars are refueled would you like to refuel them yes I would so I'm going to refuel them before the start of the race all cars Five. ready Four, and we start three, the race. Two, one.